Welcome to Mythomaniac, Legends Alive. Today we'll dive into myths and secrets of Machu Picchu. Shrouded in mist and mystery lies Machu Picchu. It is a testament to the ingenuity of a lost civilization. The Inca people, with their deep understanding of nature and their mastery of engineering, created a city that seems to defy logic and time. Machu Picchu is not just a collection of ruins. It's a whisper from a forgotten past, a reminder of what we can achieve when we work in harmony with our environment. Imagine yourself standing on a narrow ridge, clouds swirling around your feet. As the mist parts, you see it, Machu Picchu. Stone temples rise from the mountaintop, seemingly carved from the very rock itself. Terraces cascade down the slopes, a testament to the Inca's mastery of agriculture. This is not just a city, it's a symphony in stone, a tribute to human ingenuity. The Incas, with no modern tools or technology, built a city that has endured for centuries. They were masters of stone, water, and agriculture. They understood the rhythms of nature and incorporated them into their designs. Machu Picchu is a testament to their skill and a source of inspiration for us today. One of the most striking features of Machu Picchu is its stonework. The Inca builders were masters of a technique known as ashlar masonry. They shaped and fit massive stones together with incredible precision, without the use of mortar or cement. The stones fit so tightly that you can't even slide a credit card between them. Imagine trying to fit together giant puzzle pieces, each weighing tons. Now imagine doing it without any modern tools, just using copper chisels, stone hammers, and sheer ingenuity. That's what the Inca builders did. They carefully shaped each stone so that it locked into place with the surrounding stones, creating walls that were incredibly strong and stable. This technique is not just aesthetically impressive. It's also incredibly effective in an earthquake-prone region. When tremors shake the ground, the stones in an Inca wall are free to move slightly within the structure. This flexibility allows the walls to absorb the energy of the earthquake without collapsing. It's no wonder that many of these structures have survived for over 500 years. The Inca's mastery of stonework is a testament to their understanding of geometry, physics, and the properties of materials. Their techniques, passed down through generations, resulted in structures that are both beautiful and remarkably resilient. They stand today as a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the importance of working in harmony with nature. Water, the lifeblood of any civilization, was especially precious in the high Andes. The Incas understood this, and their mastery of water management is evident throughout Machu Picchu. They designed sophisticated systems of canals, aqueducts and fountains to collect, channel, and distribute water throughout the city. Imagine a city built on a mountaintop, with no rivers or lakes nearby. How do you provide water for thousands of inhabitants? The Incas found a solution by carefully studying the natural water sources in the surrounding mountains. They built a network of stone channels that captured rainwater and spring water, directing it down the slopes to Machu Picchu. These channels, some carved directly into the mountainside, were carefully graded to ensure a constant flow of water. The Incas understood the importance of gravity and used it to their advantage, creating a system that required no pumps or external power sources. The water flowed naturally, guided by the ingenious design of the canals. This system not only provided drinking water, but also irrigated the agricultural terraces and fed a complex network of fountains and baths. The Incas' understanding of water management allowed them to create a thriving city in an environment that would have otherwise been inhospitable. Their ingenuity is a testament to the power of human observation and the potential for sustainable living. Feeding an empire terraces that touch the sky. The steep slopes of the Andes might seem like an impossible place to cultivate crops. Yet, the Incas transformed these mountainsides into fertile farmland through their ingenious system of agricultural terraces. These terraces, carved into the slopes, created a series of flat platforms that maximized arable land and minimized erosion. Picture a staircase ascending a mountain, each step a verdant field bursting with crops. That's the essence of the Inca terraces. They weren't just built for practicality, they were works of art, blending seamlessly with the natural contours of the landscape. These terraces weren't just about creating more farmland, they were about working with nature, about mimicking the natural slopes and curves of the mountains. Each terrace was a carefully engineered system designed to retain moisture and prevent soil erosion. 
The Incas filled the terraces with layers of gravel, sand, and fertile soil, creating a kind of raised bed that allowed for excellent drainage. They also built retaining walls using large stones, which provided structural support and helped to prevent landslides. These terraces, a testament to the Incas' deep understanding of agriculture and engineering, allowed them to cultivate a wide variety of crops. Even in the challenging Andean environment, they were able to grow enough food to sustain a large population, demonstrating the power of sustainable farming practices and the potential for humans to thrive in harmony with nature. Harmony in Stone, Planning a City in the Clouds Machu Picchu wasn't just a random collection of buildings, it was carefully planned and laid out. The city's urban plan reflects a deep understanding of astronomy, spirituality, and social organization. The Incas designed their city to align with the movements of the sun, moon, and stars, creating a space where the celestial and earthly realms intertwined. Imagine walking through the city, the sun's rays illuminating a specific temple at dawn on the summer solstice. This careful alignment wasn't just for aesthetics, it was a fundamental part of Inca cosmology. They believed in the interconnectedness of all things, and their city reflected this belief. Buildings were strategically positioned to mark significant astronomical events, creating a living calendar etched in stone. The city's layout also reflects a sophisticated understanding of social hierarchy and community living. Residential areas, religious temples, and administrative buildings were all carefully placed within the city, creating a sense of order and harmony. Public spaces like plazas and courtyards provided areas for gatherings and ceremonies, fostering a sense of community. Machu Picchu's urban design wasn't just aesthetically pleasing, it was a reflection of the Incas' worldview, their beliefs, and their social structure. It demonstrates a holistic approach to city planning, where every element, from the placement of buildings to the flow of water, was carefully considered. This approach created a city that was not only functional, but also deeply meaningful and spiritually resonant. Echoes of the Past Inca Ingenuity in the Modern World The legacy of Machu Picchu extends far beyond its breathtaking ruins. The Inca's ingenuity continues to inspire and inform modern engineering and sustainable practices. Their understanding of materials, construction techniques, and water management offers valuable lessons for today's world, facing challenges of climate change and resource depletion. Architects and engineers are now studying Inca building techniques like ashlar masonry for their strength, durability, and earthquake resistance. These ancient methods, once dismissed as primitive, are now recognized for their sophistication and adaptability. Modern buildings are incorporating these principles to create structures that are both beautiful and resilient. The Inca's sustainable agricultural practices, particularly their terracing techniques, are also being re-evaluated. In a world facing soil erosion and water scarcity, the Inca's methods offer valuable insights into how to cultivate food in a way that is both productive and environmentally responsible. Their understanding of water conservation and soil management is more relevant than ever, providing a model for sustainable agriculture in challenging environments. Machu Picchu stands as a testament to the power of human ingenuity to overcome environmental challenges and create a sustainable way of life. By studying the Inca's innovations, we can learn valuable lessons about how to build a more sustainable future for ourselves and for generations to come. A Timeless Legacy Machu Picchu, the lost city of the Incas, continues to captivate our imaginations. It is a testament to the power of human ingenuity, a reminder that even without modern technology, we are capable of extraordinary feats. As we marvel at its intricate stonework, its ingenious water systems, and its sustainable agricultural practices, we are reminded of the importance of living in harmony with our environment. The Incas left behind no written records, yet their legacy lives on in the stones of Machu Picchu. This city, shrouded in mist and mystery, speaks to us across centuries, urging us to listen, to learn, and to remember. It is a reminder that we are all connected to each other, to our planet, and to the generations that came before us. The lessons of Machu Picchu are timeless, transcending cultures and continents. They teach us about resilience, about resourcefulness, about the power of observation, and the importance of respecting our planet. The Incas, 
through their ingenuity and their deep understanding of nature, created a city that has endured for centuries, a city that continues to inspire and amaze. Let Machu Picchu be a call to action, a reminder that we too can create a more sustainable and harmonious future. Let us learn from the past, embrace innovation, and work together to build a world where both humanity and nature can thrive. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, keep the legends alive.